Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Hisame Artwork. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into details about the mods since um, uh, I usually do this in my uh, update videos. So I installed a couple of mods, I'm not gonna go too much into detail uh, now because I'm trying to keep the videos under 15 uh, minutes, preferably 10. I will try and explain as much as I can to you guys. Uh, so this is a event with Marnie. It triggers usually in the first week of playing Stardew Valley. I am on the forest farm. I have the Hobbit hole. Yes, I would like to adopt. I have the Hobbit hole um, uh, mod. And for the house, I have Aces expansion. Keep finding stuff. Backpack is full. Yes, I. But I need money for that. Uh, don't have money for that either. So today I'm going to try and um, take care of the farm because there are a lot of things that. Um, I did wrong last time, I uh, rushed to uh, get things done and I did not do them well. Um, so I'm gonna go and fix that for my um, cauliflowers and I'm gonna try and get a giant cauliflower crop. In order to get a giant cauliflower crop you need a minimum of 3x3 three three, um, cauliflowers planted. Uh, the more you have, the better your chances of uh, getting that. And as you can see here, I didn't plant them properly because I couldn't see what I was doing. So I can either go to Pierre and buy some more, uh, some more crops or I can use the item spawner. So I'm going to show you guys a bunch of mods as well. So this is the item spawner, CBG item spawner. You can find it on Nexus mods and you type here cauliflower. There we go. And I can if you press like this you'll get a thousand but if you press shift while you do that you get uh, f half of that and if you don't you just click um, right then you'll select um, one by one so I'm gonna throw these away and I'm just gonna get what I need I think that's enough I'm gonna throw these away so another thing you have in the um, CPG uh, cheat uh, menu if you want to use it like that uh, you press P if you have the cheat menu and uh, here in the controls you can set whatever letters you want in order to um, uh, force the plants to grow quicker and press again P to uh, close that window and now I'm pressing N and the crops are already grown and these will need to be watered every day in order to fuse so we have a chance of a giant cauliflower here or lower here so we have quite a few um, permutations so that will increase the chance of them fusing and again I will use the cheat mod and if you go to uh, farm and fishing you will have here the water all fields and if you press that it will water your entire field. So if I go back here, uh, as you can see everything is watered. So uh, usually I like to do this by hand uh, when I have like a small little um, um, patch of uh, plants here. But if I see I'm running out of time and I want to finish things up uh, quicker because I have other things I want to do, um, I can use the cheat mods like that, as you've seen. So I'm gonna put these here, and I'm gonna try and go today to uh, Clint. And also I'm uh, gonna try and see maybe tomorrow the um, um, 
a mine will open up so that I can get minerals and finally upgrade the tools. I would generally recommend, oh yes, it triggered. So I would generally recommend that you do upgrade your tools and not spawn them because bugs can um, arise. So this is the community center. You will need to fill up the bundles in order to uh, save the town. If you start doing Joja Mart um, quests, then you will no longer be able to save the town. Um, so, as a precaution, I would say uh, you stay away from Joja Mart. <laughs> Um, I have been working on a mod for the entire interior of the town and just adding bathrooms and kitchens to everyone and just expanding all of the houses. Um, I've based that on Carmilla's expansive um, farm mod. Sorry, expand, um, um, expanding town or something like that. All the links are on my blog. I'm, I'm not remembering the correct name right now. Uh, and she added a bunch of areas um, in uh, in the town for people. Uh, and I continued her mod uh, and added. I changed, for example, the uh, church into a art museum and a art shop for Leah and um, Haley. <laughs> I always like this animation. It's such a cute story. It's very enjoyable to uh, watch Stardew Valley uh, cinematics. So I think tomorrow maybe the wizard will finally contact us. And then we can drink the weird potion and start um, uh, completing the community center. I'm not sure exactly what triggers uh, each of the events, so I'm just gonna click on this to be sure that I have explored it and I've done everything that it says in um, in the game. And I love the sounds, I don't know if you can hear them very well, but if you play the game you will know them. Yay, more red, um, a rare mixed seeds, I always say rare seeds, that's a different crop. And it is Friday, so we can go to the Gypsy, and uh, I can sh Oh, Clint, 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 better not forget. I keep forgetting that. And I need to do the museum as well, because it gives you rewards, like seeds and things like that. Uh, and again, I forgot to bring wood here. Please repeat because I'm gonna run out of space. Yes. These are actually very useful in uh, in um, making, I think, a um, cheese press or something like that. Yep, I'm gonna go visit now Gunter. And here's the animation for him as well. I really like the fact that we can collect minerals for uh, this. Um, I've learned so many names of minerals I didn't even know and I, then I went and googled them and some of them are quite beautiful. Um, I found that I really like opals. I, it's uh, something that I never really gave it much thought. I never had contact with opals in real life. But after seeing it uh, in Google pictures and YouTube videos. Um, I would really like to uh, have some of these um, minerals as well to collect them in my own home. They're so beautiful, some of them. Donate to the museum. Um, uh, 
Okay, I'll keep one. And I can give this, and I'll rearrange them at some other point. Okay, so no rewards so far. I'm gonna have to keep giving them. Uh, can't remember if I've met the kids. But here you go, Penny. So, when you press on the hearts here, you can see who you know. So I haven't met Healy, Alex, Sam, Pam, I haven't met either. So I'm gonna go um, up to the house and meet the whole family, because it's on my way to the gypsy. Uh, traveling cart. I keep ca uh, calling her gypsy because she reminds me of the gypsy in um, uh, what uh, what was it called? Notre Dame, the Disney film, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Push-ups. Oh, no, you weren't saying anything interesting. Yeah, it is, and I'm meeting you guys for the tenth time, so I'm kind of tired of your face, George. <laughs> Never nice. Evelyn is super nice. Uh, she'll give you a cookie recipe uh, if you befriend her. So I should have saved the flower for Evelyn, not Penny. It was kind of a waste to give it to her. I just didn't think it through. Um, aside from Shane, uh, none of the bachelor or bachelorettes give you anything. So Shane, if you befriend him, he'll give you the blue chickens, but otherwise, um, oh, I said I go to the traveling cart. Otherwise, um, they're not going to give you any recipes or interesting stuff. I think the fact that you befriend uh, Haley has nothing to do with the pink cake. I'm not sure if I remember correctly. Uh, pink cake recipe. I think you will learn that in summer regardless of your friendship status with her. Let's see, will I get some more rare, um, mixed seeds? Mixed seeds. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, yep, yes, I got some more. Right now, in the beginning, they're super valuable, but um, <laughs> once you've established your farm, you don't really need to uh, uh, collect them anymore. Because you already have seeds, a bunch of them. You don't have so much money to spare, you will need to go and because you don't know what's gonna come out of these and sometimes it can be annoying yeah, okay that's enough I'm not getting anything from there but I do admit I enjoy doing this <laughs> I like the surprise uh, that's why my favorite um, item in the whole uh, Stardew Valley game are the geodes I wish they had chocolate in them like Kinder Eggs. So this is what you usually find at the um, um, traveling cart. You can find useful things like this catfish. I'm sure I'm gonna uh, cry after it uh, in the future but I just don't have the money to buy it now. And also cave carrot. That's pretty easy to find. It's not so tragic. But rare seeds, these are useful to get as soon as you have money. Okay, and I'm gonna go home now because I think this video has already gotten pretty long so uh, I'm gonna um, close it and uh, thank you for watching if you have any more questions or suggestions uh, let me know in the comments below um, usually I explain more about the mods in my update videos. I have a couple of them in my playlist. You can go check those out. Um, and uh, see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye bye.